What's up fam? Good morning. I am exactly seven Actually, no technically I'm eight days post-op now and today is my first no my second post-op appointment I had one appointment the day after my surgery, which was last week and then today is my second post-op appointment and basically it's like a drain check where they're gonna like check my drain which is this nasty little fluid sack that made Chris almost pass out but first before I go I really want to take a shower like I really want to take a shower I've taken one shower in the last week because it's really difficult obviously I can't stand up straight although let me show you, let me show my progress my progress okay when I first started see I'm walking with no walker progress progress when I first started walking like right after surgery this is how I walked And then a couple days later, I walked like this. And now, let me show you how straight I can stand up, okay. We're getting there. Eight days post-op, but obviously, as I'm sure you guys can imagine, my back feels like it's on fire. So needless to say, I wanna see if I can try to hop in the shower. I just don't know how that's gonna go. Step one, hands come off. Step two. Unzip one side. So this is where my incision is. And it's been covered in tape, which I'm really, really, really hoping that I can see it today because I haven't seen the incision. Hi, good. But I haven't seen the incision. Like, I don't know. But I haven't seen it. So I'm curious to see what it looks like. You might pass out. How's it? <laughs> you <laughs> might pass out, sir. We're going to need the nurses. How is my bruising on this side today? Can you see it? Yeah. Does it look any better? Uh, yeah, actually, it does. It does? Yeah. It feels. But this hurts worse. I think because I was laughing yesterday. Why were you doing that? Because my husband was making me laugh. <laughs> step three. Is it the step one? Yeah. Right. And the other side. How's this side looking? Oh, dude. Why? Wow. You're freaking me out. Your freaking tattoo's out. all messed up. Well, um, no. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. You know what, though? And this is one of the reasons I have not shared a picture of my tattoo on social media yet is because I don't know how bad it's messed up because as you can see, it's covered. The tape right here is covering. So if it just says dance, like he did a really good job. If it just says dance, like. Dream. You don't even know what your own dream. tattoo says. But I don't know because the tape's covering it. So it might say like he dream or something because it says dance. Oh yeah, dream. he who, huh? You're running out of hot water. Though. Yeah, I need to get the shower. So we'll see you guys when it's clean. Okay, I feel I my hair doesn't look any cleaner because I didn't wash it because that, That's a whole other task in itself, and I definitely cannot do that by myself But dry shampoo, but the rest of me feels so I feel like a new person after showering Oh my god, and I have clean clothes. I'm actually wearing the same clothes that I wore when I left the surgery center You know what I'm saying? Except they're clean this time. Um, we washed them. I put my contacts into you. Do you realize? First time I've worn my contacts since the- I just thought you were going glasses. Huh? Oh, you thought I was just gonna go without glasses and not see anything. Can you guys tell me if I do this wrong? I never use dry shampoo ever. It looks like people do this when they do it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It's literally 115, Jessica. Shoot, there we go. It literally feels like I just ran. A marathon. Look at how good I'm walking, guys. My back oh, is spazzing out. Back. So bad, though. Okay, I can't do this. I need help. Give me your arm. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought the walker. I was like, I don't need the walker. No, you don't need it. You're, You're fine. gonna walk two steps. Are you guys embarrassed of me with my walker? Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what your in Chanel's car went. <laughs> I feel so much better today than I have felt every single day. At least before today. Like a beautiful day. For me, being in the house literally de makes me depressed. I cannot sit in a house, and I've sat in the house for the last eight days. And so being out in the sun, I don't have my walker, I have my pain meds, today is a good day. Oh. Oh. Did you know? <laughs> I like don't need like super help, but like when I walk more than like 10 feet, then my back just goes. Like, but like the last time I was here, I was straight like this. Like straight like this. At least I'm walking like a I little bit. I thought you were trying can to look you at your. Mm -hmm. Like stand tall. Like try. This Have is. Have you tried? Okay, that's better. This is straight as I can see. Okay. Okay. 
feeling? Good. Good. A lot better today. Like today made a big difference, I feel like. Yo, but for real, she's gonna remove that. I'm gonna stand over here. Are you really? <laughs> I heard that it doesn't hurt, but I don't want to get my expectations uh -huh. up either. It doesn't hurt, right you know? Oh, I'm It'll just be like uncomfortable. How much is coming out of the thing? It's all documented right behind you. So 48 hours is still like 43, 50, 47. It's actually not ready. It's 40, 52, 47. So now what you can do is just leave it in for 24 hours. So like eight in the morning to eight in the morning. You know it's 24 hours and then it's easier to record, but it's okay, getting so you're close. Not, busy out. not yet, gotcha. like it's getting close. Okay. Uh, we want 30 or less. It's still like 40 and 50. That's what I was uh -huh. calculating too, yeah. but I wasn't sure. If that's yeah, hard. but it's it's better to keep it in there because you'd rather keep it for a couple of days and for me to come back there with a needle to drain it. And so uh, it's easier to just let it let it stay for a couple okay. of days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, but yeah, good job. It's all looking good. So a little bit of moisture there. Your breasts look nice, and the swelling and the bruising's going down and down. Yeah. Right here is like the most painful. Uh, is this just swelling? It's swelling, and then any kind of coughing or sneezing oh or laughing. How much laughing do you do? Holy, I laughed yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And I wanted to die. <laughs> yeah, they're doing a good workout. I wanted right to there. die. And yeah. so not until I can't, like like hurt it. Can I? No, mm -mm. Okay. no, unless you're like nonstop vomiting right. that's going on for hours and hours. Okay, you're not gonna pop it. Once. No, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. you're not gonna hurt anything. You're just no. gonna feel it. It's it's sore because he tightened them pretty well. Not right. until six weeks. Um, it's gonna get better at six weeks, but three months is when you can actually like do abdominal exercises or do sit ups yeah. and squats. So three months is when you are okay. strong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're doing good. I'm trying. <laughs> My belly button is like 100% going to survive. Yes, it is. It's going to survive 100% because the that skin that's inside, it's nice and pink, pink yeah. and it's your skin. He's it's amazing. not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was so nervous. I was going to lose my belly button. It just looks like a cat's butthole with a thing. <laughs> yeah, once it heals, it always does. It looks weird. Once it heals, you're going to have like a tiny little perfect belly button. Really? Yeah. Nice. All right. Great. Good job. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You so Take care. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Everything's healing great. I'm so, so happy. Again, if you're local, I did not get any of this stuff like you discounted or anything like I paid for all of this I chose this doctor so this is I'm not like in partnership with him at all and I'm in love with this doctor his name is dr. Jeffrey sweat the whole team he's in Sacramento the whole team is just like great amazing so we're gonna head out it was a super quick appointment still have the drain in bummer but it is what it is so let's go get some food and then I want to go see some of my babies because I miss them so freaking bad it hurts so this is the very first time I've been out in public well the surgery kind of you went I mean, out to the middle of the street to the office i did go to the middle of the street <laughs> but um take one guess i'm gonna give you five seconds where are we five four three two one that's right texas roadhouse so I'm trying to figure out what I should do with this drain because I feel like this is kind of weird. It's gonna look like I have balls. Oh, it is. Yeah, oh, we can put it like right on the here. side. <laughs> can I just put it in my pocket? Yeah, but then it'll be up. Why is that bad? Then it'll be like, then you'd see the cord. You guys look like you're trying to smuggle drugs. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we put it so no one sees it? I mean, it's fine. It's just a drain, but like people yeah. are eating. I just don't want to be gross. Yeah, no. Just keep it right here. We're sanitary, I'm clean, I'm just Boom. trying to look normal. Do I need my wallet? No. It's on you, right? My husband yep. has the money. Okay, yeah, that's right. You've got all the money. You've got all the money for us, right? I'll pay babe? for you, babe. Okay, you got it? you <laughs> I'm gonna try to look as normal as possible. You look like you escaped from a hospital. No, I feel like you should have the walker. Uh, it would have made more sense. Been, people would have been like, why? Like, okay, something's wrong with her. Why is there a cameraman? <laughs> be normal, be normal, be normal, be normal, be normal, be normal, be normal. Everybody's looking at me like I am crazy. Can I just like get people's faces like as I walk by? I think the weirdest part is the fact that I have a camera in front of me actually. They're probably looking at me like that. Okay, how about some corner right here? Perfect. Eventually. There we go. We're sitting here talking about what we think everybody in public <laughs> thinks is wrong with me. If you saw me like this in public, point like this. What? You see how I'm walking? 
Hold on your hand, but like I look normal. What would you think is wrong with me? Like comment down below what you think would be wrong with me. <laughs> like what do you think? With me? Yeah, what would you think if you saw something? I think you like you <laughs> your diaper. <or> <laughs> <laughs> but I'm genuinely curious what and I'm trying to like hide yeah. the drain So maybe maybe I should flaunt the drain and be like look <laughs> I got surgery. Okay, that's why I'm walking like this. It's just interesting. Yeah Same people's faces in public because there's people that were like this Like what is wrong? <laughs> You gonna give mommy kisses. Mm, I love you so much. So today is the very, very, very first day that, uh, hi, she's just following her daddy. We're back home now, obviously. Today is the very, very, very first night that we're gonna have Addie try to stay the night here, back here with us, because she's been staying with this lovely, amazing lady right here who's been doing great, but, we want to like slowly start getting the kids adjusted back into like their normal normal routine and I can't help at all with anything especially 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 with Addie because I cannot pick her up I can't do hardly anything except literally sit on a couch or sit somewhere for at least like three weeks and then after that I'll be able to walk around a little bit more and then I still can't do any lifting or anything for six weeks and then I cannot do anything that involves my core for three months post-surgery so it's a long 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 healing process but we want to start getting back like into somewhat of a normal routine so we're gonna try having her stay the night tonight but in her bed because as you guys know she slept in our bed pretty much since she was born it's like a bittersweet like I'm really excited that she's here for the first night and I'm also really nervous at the same time. Jessica's been sleeping here in the bed, right? And obviously I've been sleeping on the other side. So the concern, Addie has to sleep in a different bed. She cannot sleep with us. If she snuggles up next to Jessica, she can hurt her. She can lay on her, which could like, there's just, there's so many different variables to where it's just not okay for her to sleep in our bed right now. As you guys know, we got a bunk bed for Lilia and Addie. So it's all set up, it's ready to go. I am going to sleep in the bed with Addie. So I'm gonna go over to Addie's bed and sleep with her to make sure that she stays where she needs to sleep so that Jessica doesn't like get hurt at all in the middle of the night, like to make sure that she's okay. The problem is, how is she gonna tell me that she needs to go pee in the middle of the night if it's before a time where she needs to take medicine before my alarm goes off to wake up to give her meds? I think it'll be okay. Like I think now how I've been getting out of bed and stuff, because I've been able to kind of like roll. Like last night, I had like kind of an issue because I like, I don't know, I pulled something and it hurt really bad. But as long as I sit propped up or maybe I can just like sleep in this chair, for the most part, I think I can get out of bed by myself. So that's why I feel like I'm ready. Yeah, might be okay. And also I want to say too, the only reason why Addie is back and the other kids are not is because it's midweek. And right now they're very set in their routine mm -hmm. and to pull them out of their routine <laughs> in the middle of the school week i think is gonna be too much for them so we're gonna start with them um like probably this weekend so addy is you know her her look the, there she, she's every day yeah it's day by day. i need to check on her i'm gonna lay right here next to her and hopefully keep her inside perfect Good. She's out. So when I go to bed, I'll just sleep on the outside. We're gonna get going back into the swing of things. It's just really difficult for me because I am. It's really hard for me to let go of things my way. How do I say that in a less controlling way? I'm very independent and self-sufficient, and for me to ask for help, I like. It's, it takes a lot for me to ask for help. I want to do everything myself, and I physically cannot, or I'm gonna hurt myself. I really just need to let go and ask for help if I need let help. Go. Let it go. And that's really, really hard for me. Like for my personality to do is really, 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 really difficult. So healing time is gonna be hard for me. We have so many birthdays coming up and I'm not going to let this slow down the things for my kids. I'm gonna have a birthday party for Landon, which is coming up. We're gonna do stuff for the twins and then we have Disneyland shortly after that. So it's gonna be busy. Wish us luck tonight, you guys. I feel like the surgery was the easy part and the recovery is, it's the tougher part. The easy part. part was taking care of you. 
yeah taking care of me is like now that i'm able to like at least walk a little bit it's it's a lot better but that first week was really brutal every day is getting better though so that's good so anyway wish us like you wish us like you guys we're gonna end this video right here thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow in our next video good night